Okay, now in this video, we're going to go over a problem that is using circumscribed angles in a circle. And you can just uh, see how much of the previous information that you've learned about angles and circles and uh, measures of angles, that sort of thing, um, are going to be used here. So, now what specifically are we trying to find? Well, it looks like we have a circle O, okay, and we're trying to find... Um, and we also have, by the way, an, an angle ABC. And remember, circumscribed angle means that the vertex of the angle is outside the circle. It's not on the it's not on the circumference. It's not in the center, but it is outside. We're trying to find the measure of angle ABC. We're trying to find the measure of angle A. O, C. I'll draw that in here in a second. We're trying to find the measure of arc AC, and then we're trying to find out what percent of the entire circumference is arc AC. Now, it looks like we need a couple of uh, other pieces of information to start making this work. We also know that the ray BA and the ray BC are tangent to this circle, and remember that tangent means that it intersects the circle at one point and one point only. But that's important because it forms an immediate 90 degree angle with the center of the circle. And since both of those lines are doing that, let me just draw in the second one here, and you'll see what occurs. You see immediately, oh, by the way, we also know that angle AOC is two times the measure of angle ABC. It doesn't maybe look like that here, but it is according to this information. So let's start picking out some information. What do we know? Well, you can see that as soon as I drew the tangent line, I created a four-sided figure. And this four-sided figure is called a kite or quadrilateral. And remember that that's how you draw the symbol for a quadrilateral. And we know that A, B, C, O is a kite. What do we know about kites? We know that there are two consecutive sides that are congruent. So this side is congruent to this side, and then this following side is congruent to this side. Does that help us? It did a little bit, it might. We also know that any quadrilateral, all right, has 360 degrees internally. So if we were to measure this angle, this angle, this angle, and this angle, it should add up to 360. We also happen to know that this angle is twice as large as that one. Okay, so let's, let's start doing some information here. We know angle BAO plus angle BCO plus angle ABC plus angle AOC. equals 360 degrees, don't we? We also know that we can replace angle AOC with two ABCs. So let's go down here and replace this with a two ABC. There we go. And we know that this also there. We also know that these two angles are both 90 degrees, so let's put those in there as well. There's my first step, there's my second. Now, let's keep on gathering our like terms. <clears throat> we know that 180 and 180, or excuse, 190 and 90 rather, is 180. We know that we have basically three angle ABCs. And then we know that it equals 360 degrees. 
Let's subtract 180 from both sides. And we get 3 angle ABC is equal to 180 degrees. And now let's divide both sides by 3. And you get angle ABC is equal to 60 degrees. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Angle ABC is 60 degrees. So we can actually put that as one of our first things that we have found. Now, if angle ABC is 60, angle AOC is 2 times that, which makes it 120 degrees. Now, why is that important? Well, we know that angle AOC is a central angle, right? Because the vertex is starting in the center of the circle. And the center of the circle, as it goes out, makes arc AC equal to, remember that's called a, a, a central angle that means that this angle is the same as the number of degrees in that arc that's important so it's 120 degrees for the measure of arc ac so we've got that now we can answer the very final question what percent of the entire circumference is arc ac well we know the entire circle let's go over here answer the question we know that the entire circle is 360 degrees. We know that this portion is 120 degrees. So therefore, 33 and a third percent is the answer to this arc, is that 33 or just a third of the entire circumference of the circle. Okay, I hope that was helpful.